Hello, in this video we show you how to personalise your lock screen on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. So if we just turn the device off and then on again, this is our lock screen. This is what we see before we go into the device. So it's got quite a bright sort of setup here, but nothing too fancy. And I just swipe the screen to unlock it. Now to change that, what you need to do is scroll down from the notification bar, click settings. And under device within settings, you've got lock screen under personalization and here you've got a variety of controls for that lock screen the first of which is screen security which we've covered in a variety of different videos and that refers to allowing access to your device via a swipe password etc you've then got the option to have multiple widgets so display multiple lock screen widgets on your lock screen so that's currently switched off but i can tap in here and i can actually switch it on and these widgets can then be uh, customized, so favorite apps or camera. So if I tap in here, I can select my favorite apps, or it could be a camera. And as the screen sort of imply, this is what the home screen or lock screen will now look like. There'd be an access to the camera or to my favorite applications if I was to choose this. So if I click favorite apps and click save, and it will bring up the favorite applications based on my usage. So I can come back out here. So I could have got the clock widget options. So if I click in here, um, show a dual clock on the lock screen when roaming. So it will show um, your default time and the time within the time zone that you're now in. You can change the clock size from normal, large or small. You can show the date and you can also have the weather and you can change the units and how often it automatically updates or you can you know turn the dual clock off entirely you can have shortcuts so if i switch that on just by sliding across like so i can tap in and select what shortcuts they actually um, have so set shortcuts on your lock screen tap shortcut to assign application so I can tap this and I could delete it. So I don't want a shortcut to messaging. I don't want a shortcut to my web browser. So I've now got the ability to add one here. So I want a shortcut to the calculator and I've added that. I can click one more and I've got the list of shortcuts that are available to me. So I might want the Play Store. So you can have five shortcuts in total and those can be customized by yourself. You can choose whether you have a personal message. So it's currently off at the moment, but if I switch that on, I've got personal message. And uh, so it says display your personal message on the lock screen. And this is where you can then edit it. So at the moment it says personal message. So I could click up here and I can delete that. And I can write test. I can change the font. I can change the color of the bar behind it. I can change the color of the actual font itself. I can decide whether the clock and date are showing. So I click save, come back out. I can show owner information here if I wanted, so it could be locked. And if I had it locked and someone picked up my device and I'd lost it, for example, it may have some key information there to um, help. So let's just go and write something in there. Okay. We can have the unlock effect. So what effect is it? Is it ripple? None. Well, let's have a ripple. Ink effect. Show ink effect on the lock screen if a live wallpaper is set on the lock screen. If the ink effect will be displayed automatically. So this is all going to depend on when you're pressing the screen and whether you've got a live wallpaper. So I'm going to come out of that at the moment. So you've got wake up in lock screen, use wake up command when swipe unlock is enabled. So you can switch that on if you like, and you've got different wake up commands and that's all orientated around voice. And then you've got action memo. To open action memo, memo, double tap on the lock screen while pressing the pen button. So some helpful things there and whether you have help text on the lock screen or not as well. So we've made some changes. So if we now turn the screen off and turn it back on, you'll see how the home screen has completely changed 
from what it was because of what we have done within that settings menu. So there's the help message. So we can got the blue ink effect there because we've got a live wallpaper. And then we just swipe across the screen to unlock it. And that's how you customize the lock screen on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3.